So that that's the problem with it, bro. Is that um, you're right in in your in your victimhood. It's 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 standard, you know. Like as a female, you certain parts of the world you are oppressed, you know, and you are a victim of certain things as just being a female, right? But then you're not just one. You're not just a part of one thing. You're a collection of groups. Right, and in one of those groups, you are most probably going to be a victimizer. And if you're gonna go and attack people, right, for that little piece of slice that you're the victim of, you can damn well be sure that for every other part that you're victimizing, people are gonna come after you for that, and then everyone is dead. So that's pretty much what happens. So it's it's when you're Cause that's why that's why I'm saying to you that the game works for you when you're the victim. When you see yourself as a victim, it works. Because then it's like, oh, okay, well, now I'm justified to say I should burn all men because, you know, I'm a victim. Mm-hmm. But then it's like, yeah, okay. And then... And it's misogyny the other way around. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then, and then exactly. And then the, the guys that have done nothing to you are going to say, well... If you're going to do that to everyone, it's only a matter of time you're going to do it to me. So let me call you out on where you're a victim, uh, where you're victimized. Yeah, and then they'll come after you for the fact that you have a job, for example, because now you're a victim. You're taking people's jobs that don't have jobs. And then the people that don't have jobs say, well, there you go. You're the victimizer there. It's slaughter you too. And then everyone's next. Everyone is next. Yeah. So... They're literally so, all the iPhone, basically. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So that that's why I'm, I'm saying the danger of it is the fact that it's enticing, because it, because you really are a victim, right? That's why you find a lot of people in these groups. Um, first, these groups fraction they 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 dissolve themselves, right? Because then they start to realize that they actually in that group there are individuals, and certain people have certain things that they actually wanted from the group, right? You see this everywhere with every single thing. Right. Different. Yeah. So you you become part of a group, and then you say, okay, I want to fight for. Um, I made an example of like the fees back in the day, but like I want to fight for a certain cause, you know. So I'm fighting for how we're victims of this, you know. We're we're um, uh, what do you call this? The minority. So we're fighting because we're victims because everyone around here um, looks after the majority, right? So okay, cool, fair enough on that slice, on that part of the category, only that you're a minority. Because you're probably a majority somewhere else as well. So now as much as you're fighting against the majority, right, when you're a majority, the minority are going to be fighting just as hard to delete you too. Would it be fighting against the minority or fighting against the oppression as as the minority at that point? And not right. actually saying that you're fighting against the majority at all times. Yeah, so this is the thing, though, is that... Well, sometimes just, you, just want, you just want equality. Yeah, but that's that's also the problem, again, is that it depends, again, oh. on what... So it depends, again, on, on where... On what level you're fighting, right? So, for example, again, it's like... It's fine to, to argue, and it's fine to say you're the victim of something, Right? But then when you, as soon as you go against someone else or against another group, you have to realize that then there's other groups that are going to come after you with probably even more vigor. Because you're angry, right? So your anger is justified. So then there should be justified too to come after you. Right? So it doesn't matter where, whether you're going after or against the minority or the majority. The fact is that you're going after someone for, for the fact that you no. feel victim. No, but I, I wasn't saying that you're going after someone, but you're going after the fact that you just want equality, is what I'm saying. The, like, simple protest that you just want equality. Depends but at what that same, with, 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 with that same breath, it happens so, it happens so to, to think about, to then disenfranchise, disenfranchise the next person. Let's say like quota systems. Mm-hmm. It's justified, 
but you're not saying it's because i hate white people or whatnot it's just we're trying to rebalance the 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 scales again yes fair enough you might say that you might again you yeah. might say that because, but now because I, just it, like just like Mm-hmm. just like with any hierarchy or or any um like capitalism um mm-hmm. it's going to dispossess the majority of people right mm-hmm. and and it's, it's it's a bound to be corrupt and that's something that we know and and that's why you need you need a government so that mm-hmm. it can then stabilize somehow where you mm-hmm. take money from the top and mm-hmm. you give to the poor and somehow you you find a balance in that but at all times the 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 the, the rich are all going to get rich but the poor are also going to get poor well not actually poor because if we actually honestly look at it uh nowadays countries are getting richer and richer so the rich get richer and the poor get poor and capitalism is actually a lie if you look at stats from the un and stuff so yeah man Well, what i'm saying is that um you you need to somehow be able to find a balance so if you if you have like um like the government somehow you you, you need to be able to to stabilize it is what i'm saying well sorry man i push it um just try to find a balance where the government comes in and tries to help out where it doesn't it doesn't get um it doesn't get tyrannical and doesn't get um too too top heavy or anything like that does mm-hmm. does anything i'm saying make sense actually yeah it's quite a few it's quite loaded but i i can understand part of it or i can understand what you're saying i'm just trying to think of which one to answer and when <laughs> yeah so yeah you mentioned you mentioned quite a few things there right and at some point any any decision that you do make is going to then um have an effect on someone else right negatively right because you can't please everyone all the time right so so that's why there always needs to be a constant a constant um dialogue right between you trying to be the victim and you and the victimizer because again it's like what you're talking about with this thing being top heavy you don't want people to keep getting rich and then no one gets anything right Yeah. but at the same time you don't want to then always distribute because as soon as you try to distribute everything right then the top say well then what's the point of working for something if you're just going to take it from and the bottom get lazy exactly so and then also it's very 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 complicated because it's not just a matter of um of of uh of money for example or of assets right it's also a drive issue it's also the fact that life just in life in general will always put someone at the bottom and someone at the top there's always going to be someone that owns the pot someone that needs to wash it right so that already is an inequality but inequality doesn't always mean that it's negative in an inequality is something that also can be a drive to go somewhere further like if you have something now and you want something better right that's a good thing but then that those things are unequal you see so we get yeah. told that an inequality is something that oh my gosh like it's something terribly bad that means that then you've taken from someone else whereas it's like no not really like you need to have a boss and then you need to have someone that just starts they're unequal so that then at some point this person can then drive thrive, thrive to then do something right but at the same time you don't want the gap to be too big You don't want the boss to always be the boss and this person to always be here. Right? Well, well, well not even that for them not to even have an opportunity to be the boss. Yes. Yeah. That, 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 that's about yeah. it. Just the, the, yeah. that for you not to even have a chance to say, you know what? I can now try and be a boss. Not yeah. not necessarily say that we, you can have an outcome and be a boss, but mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah, yeah, for sure, bro. So so that's the that's the part. That's those are the people that like to speak for people that are dispossessed, right? So those are the people that like to speak for okay, I just want you to have a chance at something, right? And and those people need to be heard because I have a point because you don't want to ex- again not give a chance to anyone. But then they also need to understand that well, not everyone can get a chance first. 
Secondly, it's not just about having a chance. There's no point in having a chance if no one's ever going to be whatever they're going to be. So there needs to always be constant dialogue. That's why I always make the example of, of um, like a, a, a boat that needs to go somewhere, right? And this boat is carrying some stuff. And the people on the boat say, well, look, we're going to always leave at 12 o'clock because then we need to get there exactly on time to get what we need there, right? But then the people on the boat say, well, look, there's some people that, are, that might come late, so we're going to leave them. Then the one part of the group says, yeah, we have to leave them because we need to get there. And the other group says, well, no, look, we can't leave them because then every single time we'll just keep leaving people and then we'll have no one on the boat. See? So they're both right. But at the same time, you can't always wait for people because then if you're going to keep waiting, then the boat won't go anywhere. See, that's why then you're still going to need like a government that's going to come in and say, what's the time that the majority can make it and then we need to leave some behind? Yes, exactly. Exactly that. So that's why there always needs to be then that conversation all the time as to, okay, well, what, what do we need now? We, can, we need to actually move. We need to leave a lot more people because we haven't made ground. And then maybe when the ground is already going to be made, And then they say, okay, what do we do now? Well, actually, we need to stop, man, and wait to get more people on because there's less people on the boat. So that constantly has to be a dialogue. But it can't always be, oh, let's always wait for people because then you'd get nowhere. And at the same time, you can't say, let's always leave, let's always move, let's always make money because then you have no one else to then share it with or to enjoy it with. You see, so that's what... Yeah, so that's what makes the, that's what makes, that's why in countries always have opposing governments. Four years, it's the opposite government, four years, it's the opposing government. One year, it's, uh, one year it's Trump, four years later, it's Obama or the other way around, whatever. But it's opposing because then, now that we've had too much of this, now we need to now bring all the, wait, wait for the boat, get, get the boat to wait to, pe- to put people on it. And now when there's a lot of people on the boat, Then they're going to say, hey, look, we need to make, you know, we need to make ground. Otherwise, we're going to sink where we are. And then they need to make ground. So it's that constant conversation, you see. So that's, that's primarily the issue. That's why then, like I say, that's the, only, that's the only way we can have it happen. But the problem is, is that, well, another problem is the fact that if you see it your way and you constantly want to have it your way, and then the other person sees it his way and constantly want to have it, their way and their victims and you're a victim, then it's game over. Then it results into all these things that we're just throwing bricks at each other. And then the boat goes nowhere. You see, and then we just go apart. And that's what happens. So that's what movements do. That's exactly what they do is that then they say, look, let's say vaccinated versus unvaccinated. And the vaccinated say, look, I, um, I don't understand why these people just don't want to vaccinate because, I mean, Do they want us all to die? It's like, yeah, fair enough. You have a point. Then you ask the unvaccinated and they say, well, look, man, I don't trust this thing, you know, and I, I should be able to go wherever I want because I have a right as a human being and you should never tell me what to do, right? And, I, and, and when we weren't vaccinated, everything was fine. I was a health professional. Everything was fine. I was saving people. You guys were calling me a hero, right? Now I don't want to be vaccinated. I'm still a health professional, but now... On this level of analysis, all of a sudden, I'm the victim and I must get out of the, the hospital. We have a point there too, you see? So that's the tricky part of it is that it's then multi-layered. Because now they're both making yeah. points. But at the end of the day... And with the vaccination yeah. thing, it, the, the weird thing for me is that it's a lot of health professionals that are, that are saying they don't want to get vaccinated. Yeah. That, that, that's the weird thing for me that I've been finding about it. Yeah, you, you will get, yeah. And you, and, well, no, and you have one side that just doesn't want to hear the other side and it's just always just going to label them stupid and whatnot. It's just like, okay, so only your side matters. Yeah. And, and you don't want to look at things from the other side, then, You, then then you'll always stay being the victim. You'll be the only one that makes sense to yourself. Yes. Yes. That's, that's it right there, bro. And that's exactly what happened. So, so even, even with that, it's like, 
the health professionals that are getting that don't want to get vaccinated, for example, if we're just speaking about that, they are not just health professionals. They're again slices of of a lot of, ke- of, of uh, slices of a big cake because they're not just health professionals. They have specific mm. other religions. They have other beliefs. They're they have other diseases. They have all sorts of things, right? So now, if you're just gonna look at me and say, "Oh, you're a health professional, you should get vaccinated," I say, "Yeah, I am," but you know, I don't want to because of my religion. It's like, ah, oh, okay. Now what? You see, so as soon as you group people and you say those people are crazy, you then forget to say that well, those people are part of a lot of people, and one person is part of. I mean, a lot, they part, one person is a part of lots of categories and lots of slices, mm-hmm. just like you are. But then, if you go after them, then it's only a matter of time that they're going to come after you. And that's what the, where the politics comes in, because in the politics, then says, "Well, we're going to talk for these people," yeah. and the other politics say, "Well, we're going to talk to the, about these people," and then we're not going to dialogue against the, uh, for each other, and then we're just going to make, we're just going to play victim, victim, victim. That's the point of purpose. That's what yeah. happens. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Because also, you got you, you have to also see that, like, the, when I say the victim, the victim card always works, the game always works when you're the victim. It's like something as simple as, remember there was, like, money that disappeared. Uh, I think the ANC, something happened somewhere. The money disappeared from somewhere, right? It's like every single time Recent. when something, every single time when, when like, a party, a political party, right? Um, there is, let's say, in Joburg, right? Something um, the ANC built ten thousand homes or a million homes, right? And everyone's happy because of that, right? But in Joburg, then the whole of the ANC and every part of the country says, "Ah, oh, yeah, perfect. We'll take that. The ANC are amazing, even if you're not part of it, right? But you're like, no, come on, it's group. So cool, man. We'll take all that, right?" Okay, and then boom, something uh, a million rand disappears in the Kuruleng. Oh, it's from the ANC. And the ANC says, no, 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 no. Well, that's negative. So I can't take that as a group thing. So, no, no, no. It's just the ANC members there in that place. Yeah. So that's how the game always works when you're the victim. See, you see that in group work at school or in varsity, anywhere. You know, when the group's getting a good mark, if you didn't even do anything, you say, yeah, that's my group. That, I like that group. You know, we did so well. Well done, guys. It's like, okay, fine, perfect. You go to another group and they, the, or in the same group, the group does badly. What do you do? You go to the teacher and you say, hey, can I get a personal mark, please? Because I'm not part of that group. These guys didn't put in work. Those guys didn't put in work. Then you start pointing fingers. And then what do they do? They point fingers back at you. So that's how groups dissolve. That's how political groups dissolve. That's how all these movement groups dissolve. Is that then we start actually pointing fingers at each other when things aren't going great. And that's exactly what happens. Ah, man. Now I appreciate it, man. It actually yeah. taught me a lot here. Appreciate yeah. it. Yeah, That's bro. So, very yeah, it happens if you if you just sit and think about it. It happens in every single place. Every single time when someone comes out and says, oh, "I'm victimized," you just wait. Just wait until they they go after someone or something or a group of people. Then it's only a matter of time that they will get slaughtered. It's the same with like say say it's the same with like you know we always have this conversation between the rich and the poor. Right, and it's convenient when you call yourself the poor because then you're the victim, for example. Right, and it's like, yeah, fair enough. You, I mean, it's tough being not being able, always trying to survive. Right, and let's say we can define what what poor is. Even we can say maybe it's a certain amount of money um, per year, and then we say, okay, cool, that's a cool definition. That's that makes sense. It's like, okay, you're poor. What's going to happen? Okay, maybe we should try to create NGOs for you. Maybe you should raise awareness and try to get uh, people to, uh, to help you out so at least you can kickstart something and, you know, you're, you, you're, you want to speak out for them, you know, speak for the dispossessed and you want to, you know, just get them a foothold somewhere, right? It's like, yeah, that's great, man. Like, charities, everything. 
you should go for that you know and chances are again it's like it's a deeper problem than that it's not just it's not just the fact that you're poor but it's also the fact that even if i can give you money it doesn't now make you rich because now you need to sustain that so how are you going to do that if you don't have an education for example how are you even going to think of an education if you if you couldn't even if you didn't even have money to begin with to get one you know so it's like even if you funnel all the money straight to maybe poor people for example right it's like well then what are you going to do with it you're just going to then burn it up again and then you're going to remain there right so you also have that problem it's the same thing as even as an individual there's a time when you were poor there's a time when you were a student that you, you didn't have an income so you now you're also part of the poor right and now all of a sudden boom you get a job right i have your first salary all of a sudden now you're part of the 1% you see so again in certain times and in certain uh, instances things like that change right so now let's say that when you were fighting for the poor then you then turned around and said it's because the rich people have taken from me so we're going to go after them that's where your problems come in because then the rich people some rich people might say yeah okay cool we're exploiting you fair enough but now you're going to then label them as a group then the rich people are going to say oh okay well look i didn't take nothing from you man and i actually give back to charities and i actually try to help people out but if this is what i'm going to get then i'm going to take all of that from you and not only that i'm going to put you now in concentration camps and i'm going to make you work for your money and that's exactly what happened and not only that when you then get a job let's say you work the rubble and get a job now the people that you left there come after you because now you were part of the rich so you were fueling them when you were part of them and now you're part of the you ah, part of the others at that time at, at that time you were better than us still you were better than us still that that's how you got to this place you're always yeah. going to be the rich yes that's just how the game yeah. Yes, exactly. You see that everywhere. Big scales, small scales, you see that in teams and in in cricket teams and football teams that you're in. If you're fighting against so much, you want to you want to kill all the Man United uh, players when you're playing for Arsenal. Well, just wait until you get signed by Man United. And then the Arsenal players are going to say, "Oh, well, late actually when you were here, you taught us how to kill all of those. So you now you're Man United, we're going to do the same to you." and are you part of the problem that's identity politics is to try to separate and find out who's the victim so that then you can fight for your victim it's like cool yeah that's fine no problem it's who you fighting against is the issue uh, yeah. thank you appreciate it sure bro appreciate it <laughs> Like wheels turning. <laughs> yeah, fit. Uh, this is actually a nice one. This is just sitting back and listening. It's fucking appreciate. Yeah, yeah, bro. It, it's, it's a, uh, yeah. As soon as you take those blinkers off, you know, and you stop seeing yourself as, or you start to see other people are victims because of you, then you start to realize, oh, I'm. I might want to check how much I want to fight against other someone else because of my victim. Because if I don't other people are going to come back and do the same to me. You you see it on social media all the time. All this, all the time. It's the same with Black Lives Matter. The backlash is going to be heavy. And that one's still going to The pendulum is swinging back. Yeah. That's all I have to say, man. And yeah, it's going to swing back even heavier. Because it's the same as like, you know, like gang fights, bro. Like like if if you come and kill a family member of mine, for example, right? I'm not going to just come and kill a family member of yours because I know that you just going to come back and kill someone else, right? So what do I do? I go and I eradicate you and your children. and that's what happens because then i don't want it to come back so you not only take away from the people that are there you take away from the people that are going to be there or even a part of that it's that whole saying of i'm going i'm going to kill you and all your facebook friends 
That's where the saying comes from. It's the same with warfare. We, we yeah. kill the men and they kill the women that were married and keep the virgins. Yeah. Makes sense. Why you kill the ones that were married? They will not be loyal to anyone else. Mm-hmm. Exactly, bro. That's identity politics. And that's tribalism. <laughs> sure. Um, I got to head out, Nepozia. Hi, boy. Thank you so much. Sure, sure. cheers, boy. Thank you, man. Sure.